apparently I found the Merganser hotspot, which is actually underneath a bridge. In late February and into March, the early stages of migration begin. In the next three months, many different bird species will be making their way north, but today, I'm looking for some of the earliest migrating water birds. Hello everyone, this is Ryan from Badgerland Birding, and today I'm at the Frame Park Riverwalk, and I'm looking for duck species. Waterfowl are some of the earlier migrating species, making early March a great time to go look for newly arriving ducks. It's that time of the year where some of the northern ducks make their way back into Canada and some of the other duck species make their way into the United States or the northern United States. So I'm going to see what species are still hanging around and what species have newly come in. I began walking the path that runs along the river. I immediately noticed the honking of one of the most abundant migratory geese. First thing I noticed is there are Canada geese everywhere. They're on the grass, they're in the water. Now how many of these are actually migratory birds and how many are just here year round is tough to say. There's usually a contingency of geese that just live here. Uh, I'm going to see if there's any cackling in here, but usually since there's more domesticated geese here, I doubt there will be any, but it's very noticeable that they are around. After scanning through the Canada geese and not having any luck picking out a cackling goose, I heard a familiar winter species that I tracked to a nearby tree. Just had a nice flock of common red poles. I still get excited every time I hear them because they're a bird that we don't often get this far south in Wisconsin. So it's still exciting even though it's been an eruption year and I've heard them almost every time I've gone out birding somewhere, but they won't be here for much longer. They're gonna start heading back, so I'm gonna enjoy them while I can. After taking some time to admire the red poles, I went back to focusing on the birds on the icy water where I spotted a few duck species. Just had our first duck species, found a couple of mallards, they're kind of here year-round in this area. Uh, then had common goldeneye, they'll be on their way up soon, and then redheads, which more of them usually come in, a couple of them hang out all the way through winter, but excited to finally get some ducks on the board. The aptly named redhead is a diving duck with a namesake cinnamon-colored head, blue bill with a black tip, gray back, and black chest. Females are brown with a lighter tan to white near the bill and a light colored eye ring. Redheads winter in the southern and central parts of the United States and Mexico and migrate to the northern U.S. and southern Canada to breed. They eat aquatic plants as well as invertebrates including mollusks, crustaceans, and insects. While they are technically diving ducks, redheads can also be seen dabbling in shallow waters. I made my way to the part of the river where a dam creates a small waterfall. Around this area, I found a few American robins feeding on ornamental berry trees. I also noted the abundance of golden eyes as they significantly outnumbered the other migratory species. Other than mallards and Canada geese, common golden eye is the most numerous species I've seen so far. And as far as diversity goes, we have not had a ton of species. We've got common golden eye, mallard, and redhead as far as our ducks are concerned. Not being satisfied with three duck species, I headed up river where I noticed more birds out in the distance beyond a bridge. Apparently I found the Merganser hotspot, which is actually underneath a bridge, pretty much where I have to look. So I'm crouched right next to this bridge, looking underneath it to the other side where there's just kind of woods that this river cuts through. I headed out feeling like I found every duck species that was on that particular stretch of river. About a week later, I went back to see if anything new had appeared. I'm back at the Fox River today and we're going to see if any new species came in. As you can see the ice has mostly melted so there's not a lot confining the ducks to specific spaces so they might be a little harder to find. At first glance I don't see a lot of birds but maybe there's some good diversity. I walked up river to the bridge where the mergansers were hanging out. Many geese were still present and some of the hooded mergansers were nice enough to come out into the open. Two of the hooded mergansers are away from the uh, bridge. Here's a look at them for you. Also, the Canada geese are really honking a lot. There's still a ton of them out here. Uh, no new species yet, though. I walked back downstream. While at first the river didn't seem to hold many ducks, I reached a point where all of them seemed to be congregating. 
I found the spot where most of the wild ducks seem to be and it looks like there are some new species out there. So let's get a closer look and see exactly which ones we've not seen yet. The first species that I noticed was a male bufflehead that was actively diving on the far side of the river. Other new arrivals included lesser scop and a pair of very sporty looking ringneck ducks. Male ringneck ducks are a glossy black color with an iridescent purplish shine. They have gray sides with a white patch near the shoulders. They can be differentiated from other similar species by their peaked head and distinctively patterned bill. Additionally, ringneck ducks get their name from a rusty brown colored ring that the males have around their neck that is rarely visible in the field. Females are shades of brown with a gray head, white patch near the face, and the same peaked head and blue colored bill that the male ringneck ducks have. Ringneck ducks can often be found in shallow waters and seem to prefer fresh water over salt water. The species follows a similar migratory path to the redhead, but breeds slightly farther north on average. Ringneck ducks feed on small aquatic creatures as well as plant matter. Added bufflehead, lesser scop, and ringneck duck. So it looks like there is a good amount of birds moving through still. Still pretty chilly out, but as the weather warms, I'm sure there'll be even more duck species migrating up. I was happy to see that new species had arrived at this stretch of the Fox River. It's always exciting to be able to go to the same place just a week later and see something new. What makes it even better is that this is just the beginning of migration, and many more birds are on the way. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding.